This is our step-by-step -step installation method for installing a patio using 20mm parcelin paving. This is a rigid installation complete with a rigid joint. Our full installation guidelines can be downloaded from our website. Before you get started, you will need the following materials. 20mm porcelain paving, paving primer, jointing compound, MOT type 1, sharp sand and cement. In this project, the homeowner has already prepared the area by excavating down. It's important to remember when installing any paving against an existing property or structure, it's required to be a minimum of 150mm depth below the existing damp-proof course to avoid the risk of rising damp. The ideal sub-base is 150mm. This should be compacted using a compactor plate in two layers of 75mm. For the most efficient water runoff, correct falls should be used in the preparation of the sub-base to allow drainage into a suitable drainage system. In this project, the walls of the house and adjacent structures are also acting as our edge restraints for the patio. Porcelain is manufactured in batches, so it's important to check the batch codes are the same on each pack prior to laying the flags. Make a note of your batch code in case you need to order more at a later date. The paving should be laid on a full, wet, workable mortar bed of four parts sharp sand to one part cement, between 30 to 40 mm thickness. It's best practice to mix the contents of the packs you plan to install to ensure you have a good balance of pattern and colour across the finished area. Paving primer must be applied to the full rear of the flag to prevent any separation and increase the adhesion to the mortar bed. We recommend only preparing one flag at a time. Lay the primed flag onto the prepared mortar. Gently tamp down using a rubber maul and adjust as necessary until you are happy that the unit is fully supported and doesn't rock or move. When laying adjacent flags, Make sure you leave a 5 to 8 mm joint width. The use of spaces is recommended to give you a consistent joint width throughout. Make sure all excess mortar is removed to the full depth of the flag before jointing. A water suppressed ceramic or porcelain diamond bladed power saw should be used when cutting any porcelain. Never use a diamond blade designed for cutting stone. The quality of the blade is important as if it is blunt or worn, shelling of the flag will occur. After laying the flags, allow 24 hours for complete bonding before jointing. Here we'll be using Marshall's exterior tile grout. A full set of installation guidelines can be downloaded from our website. Prepare the flags by applying a temporary sealer to the full face of the flag using a mini roller or microfiber cloth and wait until completely dry. Mix the contents of the tile grout with the specified amount of water, making use of a paddle mixer and following the instructions on the pack. Using a rubber float grouter, work the mixed grout into the joints until they are completely filled. Be sure to remove any excess grout from the paving immediately. Before the grout begins to set, gently wipe either side of the joint with a damp square cut sponge or wash boy, ensuring that any excess grout is removed from the surface of the flag. Once the grout has started to cure and has some resistance, complete the final clean down. Once your installation is complete, we recommend cleaning the area 24 hours later with a low pressure power washer for best results. For more details, the full installation and aftercare guidelines can be downloaded from our website.